In this video, we're going to talk about the MyCollab soft phone, um, specifically the SIP soft phone that's used in the MyCollab um, server. That's pretty much the newest uh, soft phone that's available. There is an older version of soft phone in the MyCollab um, client. However, most um, systems that are being deployed in the 6 out and above will most likely be using the SIP soft phone. So, if you remember in one of the previous videos, there was a set setting under your name tab that under configuration, and then there is a soft phone settings section. So in this section here, we need to make sure this is enabled if you're going to use your soft phone. And if you don't have this information in here, it's because you don't have a soft phone enabled on your account. You'd have to check with your system administrator and, and get that enabled. But if you do have one already built, then you're just, you would just go in here and click enable soft phone. Um, the next thing it's going to add, or it's automatically going to check here that uh, this number is going to will be used on multiple devices. You want to leave that checked if you're going to be using this soft phone on your desktop, like I am here, and possibly on your mobile client if you're putting this client, this UCA client, on your mobile device on your smartphone. So if it's going to be used on multiple devices, you want to check check this so that it can um, detect when it's being used on either device. The next thing down here at the very now here you can set up your microphone speakers alerts uh, you can leave these all system defaulted they'll use your default microphone and speaker and so forth on your on your uh, computer if you have a Bluetooth headset or something like that then you're going to want to drop down here and and pick whatever those microphones are or those headsets or whatever to make sure that those are selected those want to be you want to have those installed prior to setting this up so that everything is ready here to be selected for that so. Um, also for video camera, if you want, uh, this is the video camera for the soft phone video conferencing, which we will explain later in another video on how to establish a video conference call and what that looks like and so forth. So the next thing down here at the very bottom, you want to make sure is checked if you're running this client remotely outside of your corporate location, or if you're using a cloud voice hosted solution. Um, and the server's located off-site, like out in the cloud, then you're going to want to make sure you put this teleworker IP address in. This is the public IP address of the server that you're connecting back to. So check, check with your system administrator, see if this is necessary or not, but in, in most of your hosted deployments and stuff, this is going to be required. So in my for my example here, I, I do need this, so I'm going to put in my server IP address, which you can get from your system administrator. Put that there. Okay, and then why is it not letting me hit OK here? Oh, I understand why I don't, this isn't the right format. So, good thing I make these little mistakes so that uh, you can learn from them, I guess. So, so once those are selected right, then we're going to hit OK or Apply. And OK. Now, um, after you do that, you're going to get a little pop-up window here because the, the client's going to try to connect your soft phone back into the server. So it will have your soft phone username here, which should be the same as your extension. It could be different. You might want to check with your system administrator to see if they've changed that and made a different username for the client side. And then the password. This password is important to get from your system administrator because it authenticates this extension into the server so that... Uh, you don't have SIP toll fraud and so forth where people are trying to register your their devices to your server. So I'm going to put this in, which I have for my system administrator. So it's PIN number. Uh, we recommend using a password of at least you know eight digits in length um, just for higher security. So I hit activate on that. Now, providing that that is the right password and everything connects back to the server, I shouldn't get any pop-up window and show me if it's not correct, it's going to keep popping up and, and asking you for the password again. So it looks like it took it okay. So now my client is registered with the soft phone. So if I want to actually start using the soft phone, I would drop down this setting here and actually click on soft phone here, which is the little headset. So now I'm actually using the, the soft phone from this device. This would So if I was to make a call out now, it would go across my computer and not my desk phone. So let's just go ahead and make a call real quick. And we'll hit call. Okay. 
I have this number in as a fake contact, so it shows kids there. But So this dialed out, hit our auto attendant at our office, and I'm talking across the speakers of, I mean, let's hearing from the speakers of my desktop as well as talking across the uh, microphone. So I'll go ahead and I'll hang that up. So that's it. So um, then if you were receiving a call on your soft phone, so we would want to make sure that um, our device is set to receive calls on the soft phone. So we would want to make sure that in our status here, um, we're going to, so if I'm saying working from home, we just double click on this here on working from home. So we want to make calls, we'll say from the soft phone right now. We want it to ring my soft phone, not my desk. And yeah, we'll say we'll ring it out to my cell phone in case I leave my desk and, and I have my cell phone on me. We'll save that. So now when I receive a call, when a call comes in, it's going to ring my, my soft phone, not my desk phone, and ring out to myself. So we'll go ahead and simulate that. This might work a little bit weird because I'm calling from my cell phone, but we'll see what happens here. Probably going to show that I'm calling because my cell phone's calling in, which is associated with my extension as well. The call's ringing in. So if I answer that, all right, let's see, I want to that call down here. There we go. So now I'm talking across my cell phone and onto my soft phone. Bring that up. Okay. And that is the soft phone. Uh, later on, we'll discuss some additional functionality with the soft phone, some actual SIP video chat. Um, that'll be in another video down the road. Thanks for joining. Mm -hmm.